Okay, we're out in the desert. We have some really fun off-roading footage that we wanted to do today. I brought a trailer out, well, our favorite one, but Michael says he has a surprise. And well, there he is right there actually coming down the hill. What does he have behind him? Is this a new trailer? What the heck? Is that a brooder? Check this thing. What do What's you got? Up? What, what do you got, Michael? Hey, how's it going? Straight from Australia, I got a brooder. Did Brooder give us a trailer? No, it's not for Brooder. Somebody wants us to sell it. Well, he gave it to us, and so we're gonna sell it. Okay. So, not for Brooder. Oh, wow, look at this. Hey, yeah, super everybody thinks or says that Brooder is the best trailer in the world. And it's the standard, the gold standard, and everything is compared to a Brooder. It and is, everybody, everywhere, any comment you see out there whenever any trailer comes out, they're like, but it's not a Brooder. Or why don't you have a Brooder? But guess what, ROA now has a Brooder. Unfortunately, we're not carrying these new trailers. This is a used Brooder, but we have a trailer that is an exclusive ROA off-road trailer called the Roamer One. And we've did a little few jabs and pokes <laughs> here and there saying Some that the Roamer One is better than a brooder. And a lot of people have been like, no way. And I've talked to some brooder owners and kind of asked them what their feelings and their experience was with a brooder. So I was going off of what I've heard from owners, also from specs on the internet, right? But we yeah, never- but specs are never good enough because sometimes the specs on paper, when you bring it into the real world are different, like yeah. solar panels, batteries, and so many things. So we can't say it's better until we actually try it out. I don't want to call this a comparison video entirely yeah. because it would be unfair because this unit has about five to 600 watts of solar, the Bruder. The Romer One has 1,240 watts of solar and that's a pop top. This has solid walls. You can live in this trailer. I wouldn't live in that trailer. It's not even made for winter. Now, there's a lot of differences, but we're not here to compare specs and livability. We're here to compare off-road prowess. Okay, so that's what you're saying. So today we're gonna be going out and doing some video <coughs> Roamer One versus the Bruder. The Bruder. So. Now this is the e EXP6, yep. but it actually brand new is the same price as the Roamer One. The Bruder has a wet bath. The Roamer One has the full shower, toilet area. They're very different, so to give a direct comparison, it's not fair. Not a fair comparison because it's like apples to oranges in ways. Well, I mean, we could compare it to maybe a Bruder EXP8, but except for that's like 50 grand more than the Roamer one. Yeah. And we don't have one. And we don't have one. <laughs> so we can't really, we don't wanna, we don't wanna compare with what we don't have. So this, once again, this is a used Bruder that we've picked up. So that might be a little unfair. In comparison for our off-road is the is important, but this is a little bit smaller. So you would assume that it'll do better. And no matter what, we're smaller. Well, so we are gonna hook up the power wagon to both of these trailers. I know we pulled up in the Jeep, but we wanna make things more fair. Yeah. And, and so we're gonna use the power wagon to tow both of these trailers on some obstacles. And we're gonna and do the same obstacles, same lines, but with the two different trailers. With the two different trailers. Now, the, the biggest things when you're off-roading in a trailer is gonna be your departure angle, and your breakover angle. Breakover here, and then you also have clearance. Yeah, and clearance. Now, before we left yesterday, did you get all this I did. stuff done? I got well, all the measurements. Well, let's get to that in just a little <laughs> bit because we have a few videos that we're gonna be making. This is gonna be a video series and we're going to do the Roamer one versus the Bruder. And then later on, we're gonna go out and do a Bruder versus the new BRS Pursuit. They're both from Australia. They are both from Australia. So there's some competition there. I mean, I know the Bruder brand new is over 150 grand. This is 110. Yeah. So it's a lot cheaper, but you know, it does have a large, beautiful bed inside. That bed's very nice, great, has outside kitchen. A lot of similar things, off-road. This is a single axle versus a dual axle. So that kind of is a different, when it comes off-roading, the way it hits rocks and all that kind of stuff and how it tows. And then, after we kind of compare that, we're going to then compare the Pause, the 20.3. Now this one has a tandem. It does have a tandem. And that has a tandem. This one is a lot bigger of a trailer. Though. I will. This one has a shower in it that you can shower two large adults at the same time. Yeah. That has a wet bath that is small for one, one adult. Yeah. 
So I don't think that's a good comparison. And this has Battleborn, Victron, Solar. That has some Ender Drive, Victron. I, I mean, once again, I'm going off of the unit that we're looking at right now. Yeah. That doesn't seem very fair of a comparison either. Again, yeah, we're just going for off-road capability. Okay, so we're off -road not, we don't, we don't want to compare this because that's got a steel frame. This is aluminum. That's a big difference. Aluminum is going to last forever. In yeah, there's opinion, so many differences better. when it comes to all these trailers. I can't pull this pause with my Jeep. I can pull the Bruder with my Jeep. Like we got weights, we got lengths, we got heights, we got I mean, this is something beds, you can live in full so time. Things. Yeah, the fridge is nice. You got a huge open space. This one's got a bar in it. <laughs> yeah, bar stools, yeah. I like, mean, it depends on, this is the 20.3. Yeah. Once again, they both have similar travel and the suspension, but today we're gonna focus more on off-road. Off -road. Yeah, if okay. you wanna get into all the other details, just watch our full tours of each trailer. Now, and that way you can see all those other amenities. Now I'm really excited about doing these videos because the reality is every time we talk about how America is now making some of the best trailers in the world, Everybody always says, oh, no, 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 it's not a brooder. It never will be a brooder. And we're kind of like, well, from a distance, it's hard to really know. Yeah. And most of the videos online, you don't see a lot of independent people coming in, owners reviewing them, showing them off-road. And here at ROA, we love to actually take our units off-road. We like to test them, see what they're capable of. Break and, them. But we got these three, we're gonna take them out and we're gonna compare them side by side. Romer one versus the Bruder, BRS versus the Bruder, Pause versus the Bruder. It's and gonna we're gonna be exciting. We're gonna see how well they all do, right? Yeah. The question is who is gonna beat and if they can beat the Bruder. Yeah. Which one what will win? What do you win? guys think? And we're talking about in an off-road yes. test. We're gonna go up an obstacle and this is an obstacle we've done in the past with the old Explorers units. Yeah. We've gone up this, we actually even scraped. So it's a pretty gnarly, it's a Jeep obstacle. Yeah. But we're gonna see what our departure angles are, our breakover angles. Uh, you know, the Romer one is six feet longer than the Bruder. So I feel like that's gonna give more to the Bruder, but we're gonna tow them all with a power wagon so we can all have the similar truck and breakover angles. Should we get going? Yeah, it's gonna be a fun test. Just wanna chime in, we have an exclusive video where I measured all the angles on the Bruder. So if you click the link below, we will email you that video so you can see how we measured it and what all the results were. Oh boy, here we go. Stay tuned. Yeah. All of these videos will be coming out every single week from here. Stay tuned and you'll be seeing Romer One versus a Bruder. Is the Bruder, is it truly the best trailer in the world or is it all just hype, right? We're gonna find out if the Romer One or the Bruder is more capable off-road. Let's. Let's get going. Let's go off-road. Stay tuned.